Richard Kemp, please. <laughs> Organizers are what make change happen, and that's why Channel 17 is here. I don't know if I need the mic, or should I do the mic so they can catch me? Yeah. I, I just want to <clears throat> tell you, I sit on the board of directors of uh, CCTV, and it's really a, an important part of um, what I do because I'm concerned about our society and the world and what happens at CCTV is making some changes. I also have my own program and I want to invite anybody else who really has a message or finds messages and wants to get them broadcast out to the wider world. Uh, it's available here, it doesn't cost you anything, and uh, there, are no, uh, there are no makeup artists or anything, you just have to do that yourself. But, uh, <laughs> but I, I'm delighted that um, there's a staff here that's really dedicated, and Lauren Glenn is one of those people. Thank you. Thank you very much, Richard. And, and we have also um, Richard Kemp. Richard Kemp, who is um, not only another CCTV board member, but he's been on the Channel 17 board, and he's a very prolific a very prolific producer. Um, Richard produces once, you know, once or twice a month. Richard, you said up, coming up on near and far, you've got a program on credit cards. Yeah, and what, what, how is it affecting people all over the country? And uh, it's, uh, I think, a well done program, and I hope people will watch it. It'll be coming on on Thursday at six o'clock, one of these Thursdays. I'm not sure what Thursday. And are, is it really about credit card debt? Is that what the yes, issues? It's, yes, it's about credit card debt and and what kind of debt people are having and the ramifications and the effect that it's having on lots of people that you don't really see. And the bankruptcy law is interesting. The ba bankruptcy law that was recently changed is in favor of, uh, of banks and is not in favor of poor people to get in financial problems and stuff. So it's, it's not nice. Um, tell me why you think Channel 17 is an important forum for airing issues like the one you've just described? Well, it's important because the media and people with a lot of money can control the content of what goes on television. And in public access, you can almost talk about and expose or show anything you want, almost anything, but maybe 90% of what you want. And that's very important if we're going to continue to have a democracy in America, that there will be forums open for people to be, a, to be able to express their views and um, come up with new ideas and stuff. Well, thank you for being an active user of Channel 17 and a long, long time supporter. Well, thanks. And the, the party's great. I know. It's pretty fun. <laughs> thanks a lot. Bye. You know, tonight... We have um, a, a number of wonderful people to talk to in a couple of video segments. And first, I'd like to int introduce Richard Kemp, who has been uh, not only the Center for Media and Democracy, CCTV board, but the Channel 17 board. But most importantly, he is the producer of Near and Far, one of the most prolific programs that we have ever had here on Channel 17. Well, that's news to me. I, I, but the problem is there should be more people behind me well, coming close. They are behind me now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got people behind you. You're doing good. Tell us a little bit about Near and Far and your idea about putting that show together. The, the idea is that uh, my sense is that a lot of people who live in the greater Chittenden County area are doing very interesting things or have been to places. And when I find them and I invite them um, to come on my show, we talk about all kinds of things. And I think up to, to this point, I have about 90 shows or something like that. And it's just a, it's an informational thing. It's not anything that's confrontational or embarrassing anybody. You're also distributing the programs around the state. Well, yeah, that's another, that's another factor. Uh, I can't wait for the technology that will allow the shows to be slipped around to various access stations. And, um, yeah, I'm doing that uh, just as a public service. Well, Richard Kemp is here with me. Richard, welcome. Thanks for coming. Well, thank you very much. And I also want to extend an invitation to fo folks to come and partake in some delicious food that uh, you didn't mention. And it's just absolutely sumptuous. I haven't even gotten to the dessert table. Well, you've got to kind of have your basics first. <laughs> You just got to the appetizers. Now, Richard Kemp, you may know, he is the host of Near and Far, which has been running on Channel 17 for many, many years. How many years, Richard? Do you remember? Well, it's confidential. I can't give out that information. But you have had <laughs> many shows with some amazing guests. Over 100. Is that right? Yes, yeah, yeah. That's right. impressive. And, and it's only because you help and make that available for 
any citizen who wants, and I, you, know, you don't have to be a citizen to use it, yeah, anybody who wants to use this and has something to say or something to share with, so. And that's what public access is all about. Yes, that's make absolutely. make media. Yep. And it, can you can you tell me any of the recent shows that you've had, folks? I know you've been excited about in the past couple months. Tell us about one or two of those folks that you've interviewed. Oh, you have touched on my memory, and it's shot. Oh man! <laughs> well, there was a guy. <laughs> there was a guy, and you came in. You said this guy is incredible, and he had done some community-based work. Was it? abroad or here or I mean you have the personality parade people who are activists and who are actively engaged in changing the world and that's what's so interesting about your show well the other thing is that, that people can go to the archives and pull up programs Work with us and of and course there is Richard Kemp who has been doing a show here for years and years he's a long-standing political activist and a Channel 17 holiday party would not be complete without an interview with Richard Kemp welcome oh. well thank you for inviting me it's always a pleasure to come here, mostly because of what happens in this studio and what Lauren Glenn makes happen in this studio. It's the, really a, a, an important media for allowing people to express their views about almost anything. I mean, it's pretty wide open, and I think that we need more of that kind of involvement of citizens presenting who they are and what they're doing. and trying to make the society a better place than what it is. So the last couple episodes of your program, what have, what have you focused on? Who have the guests been? Well, my last guest just this week was uh, Vince Brennan from the uh, uh, city council. And we came together with um, the knowledge that in the March election, there's going to be a whole bunch of ballot items. So I said, well, Vince, let's get together. Let's do a flip chart presentation or something and tell people about what these ballot items are. Because when you go into the polls, you flip over the thing and you say all these things and you say, wow, what does all of this mean? So if we can do something before the election, it'll have people be a little more knowledgeable about what, what they're voting on. About my friend and co-founder, Richard Kemp. Richard, good evening. Good evening. It's nice to see you. And how long have you been doing this kind of stuff? I think about 31 years. Ooh, 31 years. <laughs> yeah, a long and time. And it's, it's, uh, it's always a pleasure to come here and see all these folks that are doing what you can't do in the commercial world. That's right. Increasingly difficult to do in the commercial world, yeah. isn't it? When you can say anything you want to say. That's and, right. And have your own program if you want to. So what have been the more interesting programs you've produced this year? There have been many. Anything stand out? Uh, no, I forgot. But <laughs> they're, well, they're all kind of interesting. And it's always kind of interesting, uh, you know, the whole interview process with, with people and stuff. And I will continue to do it and find some interesting people. So that when you ask me that question again, I'll have an answer. Well, last week you in, you interviewed um, Steve Goodkind, who's running for mayor. Yes, that's right. Yeah, the day after he was endorsed, and that was that was pretty special. And those are the kinds of things that I think that make it worthwhile being involved with uh, public access is the fact that again you can say what you want, you can bring on who you want, and you can also provide DVDs from places far and wide and put it on. Or near and far. And near and far. <laughs> <laughs> the name of your show. And I'm so glad that you're doing this. 31 years, keep it up. Thank you. Richard, welcome. How are you? I'm good. Good. Can I haven't seen you in ages. I'm so glad to have you here, Channel 17. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad to be here. How old is Channel 17? 17 started in 1990, and CCTV started in 1984. And so, what was 35 years? I know it yeah. makes, it, but I'm really still 25. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mistake it. Uh, are you free to talk about what your daughter's going to be doing? My daughter Stella Rose, who's 19, is having her gap year. And she is traveling around the oh, world. She did it really? She's in the middle of it. Oh, she, oh, oh okay. She may even I, be here at this party. Oh, really? Yeah, I think she might be. Yes, she's right there next to Mark. So I'll bring you over to meet her. Yeah. So, I, uh, someone, told, someone told me about it, and I said, oh, nine countries? At least. Yeah, I Ten. know. <laughs> she's, a, she's like a little mini Kardashian, but I probably shouldn't say that on television. Oh, you are? <laughs> <laughs> Richard, thank you for all your service to well, CCTV and free speech. You were on our board for so long and made TV for so long. But it's not over. No, it's not. So I'm not eulogizing you yet. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, Richard Kemp. Richard did near and far for years and years.